Hi guys, welcome back to Telling Tales with Mrs. Taylor. How are my Oak Harbor Kindergartners doing out there? Did you have fun on Friday in Mrs. Zaney's class and the other kindergartners too? I hope you had a great time. Well now, it's time to move into November and I just noticed that finally the leaves are changing. So I want to read you another one of my favorite fall stories it has nothing to do with Halloween, but it's called Leaf Man by Lois Ellert. It's kind of a big book. I hope you'll be able to see it. I'll read it and then I'll show you the pictures. Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. Now you have to look close to see if you can see where Leaf Man is. Maybe I have to turn it a little bit like that. Can you now see Leaf Man? Well, let's see what's going on with him. <clears throat> But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away, and he left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was headed east, past some chickens. Can you see the chicken? So what you're going to have to look for real carefully are the pictures of the animals or the things that I'm going to read. So he flew past the chickens, toward the marsh, over the ducks and geese. Because, you know, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. You should see some geese. Wait a minute. This book's kind of hard to hold. There we go. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. Let me get this book ready for you. You see it? And he flew over a turkey, past potatoes, carrots, and cabbage in rows. I'm having a heck of a time with this book. Then I wonder what he did. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west? Above the orchards? Or is he dr drifting over the prairie meadows? And is he going past the spotted cows? Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. I can see the two cows. Maybe leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze. Ooh, I see a turtle and some fish on this page. I wonder if you can. I'll tell you why it's hard to hold these pictures, these pages, because they're all cut in all different sizes. Or I wonder if he's flying along the river. He might be following butterflies going down south. Well, you know, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He 
he might even be traveling up north above leaves that look just like him. Do you know the name of these types of leaves? It starts with mm, the letter M. Maple, you're right. Or is he flying over mountains with maybe a flock of birds? When Leaf Man looks down on Earth, is he lonesome for his home? I don't know. This I do know. Where a Leaf Man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you will find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. And I'm going to turn him upside down so you can see leaf man. You know what I like about this book? You can go outside once the leaves, there are a lot of leaves on the ground, and maybe you can design your own leaf man or leaf animals just like they did in the book. And I think that would be really fun. How many of you like to jump in leaves? <laughs> I do. I used to make little leaf houses with different, with rooms and all sorts of fun places to play and forts and big piles. All right, I've got one more. Here's that old lady who likes to swallow things. Oh my goodness. Now guess what she's swallowing. Yep, you're right, leaves. There was an old lady who swallowed some leaves. And you won't believe why. There was an old lady who swallowed some leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. You're right. There was an old lady who swallowed a shirt. Now, it didn't hurt to swallow a shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll, you're right, sneeze. There wasn't a lady who swallowed a pumpkin. She wasn't a bumpkin to swallow that pumpkin. I don't know about that. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was no lady who swallowed a pole. She was on a roll when she swallowed that pole. She swallowed the pole to pop, to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll, uh, uh, uh. you got it, sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed some pants. She started to dance when she swallowed the pants. She swallowed the pants to cover the pole. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll uh, uh, sneeze. There was no lady who swallowed a rope. Now she didn't mope when she swallowed that rope.
She swallowed the rope to tie up the pants. She swallowed the pants to cover the pole. Hmm, seems like they, she might be trying to make something. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll, you got it, sneeze. Uh-oh, what a mess. Oh, she's still not done. There was an old lady who swallowed some hay. Now, she didn't say why she swallowed that hay. Hmm. Can you guess? Maybe you know this story. But she did it with ease, and then uh, 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 she started to, you got it, sneeze big time. A chew! What a mess. What do you think it's going to turn into? See if you guessed right. You're right. A pumpkin scarecrow who's saying to you, happy fall. And I'm saying to you, happy fall, and I'll see you soon. Bye.